Hey guys, Ms. Danny here back with another tutorial. Today we're going to cover Streamlabs chatbot. Alright, so first things first, you can Google, I'm going to put a link down in the chat, um, but you can Google Streamlabs chatbot yourself, and it's this link right here. Now when you open this up, you don't want to check the, you don't want to go here, you want to go down here. Streamlabs chatbot, this is exactly what you're looking for here. Just click download now, and you're going to get an application downloaded so go ahead and install it now when you install it there is also going to be a little wizard that pops up um, just follow it through my suggestion is any place that it asks for a bot name that you put your own information in use your account um, there's a reason behind this um, that I thought was pretty cool when I wanted to kind of customize some of my stuff so you can do lots of things with this bot, right? This console is your base thing. This, if anybody types in your chat, it will pop up their name and what they said. You can see your moderators that are active, your viewers. Um, I like to see this because, you know, you get those lurkers and you want to know. You want to know who's been lurking you, you know, appreciate them, things like that. This is your main dashboard. You can change your title, your game, all that kind of stuff from here. You can do rate assist. Um, you can run commercials from this. Um, this is the main one you're going to use and you can actually swap these. Um, you can put them in whatever order you want. So these are your commands. Um, over here, this is how you edit commands, delete commands, remove commands. Um, so here you want to add a command. You can name it anything. The cool part is you could do, um, something simple. You could do exclamation point, whatever word, keep it simple, keep it easy to remember, uh, for people. What I like over here is, um, you can put it in groups and this is how i keep all my stuff organized you um over here permission you choose who you want whether you want regulars vips moderators editors things like that we'll do a basic one with everyone um you can put your cooldown user cooldown um so this is a cooldown overall how many times it can get used uh, by multiple people and this is how many times one user can use it so say my buddy jwait comes in drops this command um user command is one minute jwait can't use it again but somebody else say uh you know worthless lbc travis um he can come in and he can use it uh if this cooldown is at zero <clears throat> So right here you can put whatever response you want. There's um there's some coding involved in some of the like shout outs and things like that. Um which uh which you know you you can get uh you could get from myself if you need help with it. Um you can write me on Discord, you could get information through our one up Discord, um, all that kind of thing. But here you go. Um you could also choose a sound file. So I do have a couple sound files you can put them in. Um, I will cover how to set up your sound files in a minute. You hit submit and see, as you can see, these are the different categories. So I've got Call of Duty, I've got Channel Point commands. These are ones that have been redeemed by people via uh, Channel Points. I've got clips. Um, this is a new thing that I got going on with emote re reactions where it actually reacts with an emote. And that's why I was saying hook it up through yours, right? So I've got a couple in here. Um, like this one, for example. Nope. Find mine. Um, so my half heart, if you use it, because it's hooked up through my my account and I have this email unlocked on his channel, um, it actually allows the bot to use it without having to sub the bot as well because it's actually using my account. These are games where I've got all my, my tags. I mean, I have a bunch of ideas. This is kind of something fun I do where you say hello, there's a response. Um, this is general, something Jway added today. Let's edit that. Um, put it under channel point commands. All right. Um, and this is how you just kind of slim it down a little. So games, uh, general, greetings. These are my mod only ones. These are just random ones I've got. Uh, I have specific shout outs for people. These are all my socials. So if I'm ever like, oh, I changed my social up, I need to do something, here it is. We got 1UP, we got Discord, we got Dreamy, Facebook, Instagram, a new video from YouTube, social tip, uh, social has them all, tip, Twitter, YouTube, uh, these are all my sounds all put together. These are things I use during my stream. 
And then over here, continued stream. So commands, followage, free support, stats, subage, top hours, all that kind of thing. Um, and here's our testing command. See, it made a new one. And um, this is one user. I have one user specific one. So I put it under user specific. So we made this test. It's for everyone. And it should say, hi, guys. Let's go back to our console. Good test. And there it is. It responds with, hi, guys. And it says like it's from me. Um, there are timers. Timers are pretty awesome to have. Um, these are different things that it cycles through in my chat. The bot automatically types it. You go up to this cogwheel, you set up how many times, minimum chat lines, um, that kind of thing to get these posted um, in your chat, but it automatically cycles through it. There's also a song request thing. Obviously, you kind of want to be careful with that though now because of all the um, strikes against people and, and such things like that. Um, sound files. So these are super fun. Um, they're just basically commands. You can add one here. Uh, you can name it whatever. Um, test sound just to do something different. You can still add it to a group. So obviously you guys see that I have my sounds one. Um, and then you have to just pick which sound. So you go into your folders. You pick a sound. Here's a sound. Um, uh, this one and automatically generate command permission everybody cool down you got to set it up through here you can also choose um, whether it has a response or not so um, no matter what you type that's what's going to come up so we'll hit submit there um, and then we'll go back to console uh, you guys should be able to hear this so what was it test sound damn it damn it that is my boy big dog for life um Make sure you drop him a follow as well. So these are a couple I have in here. Um, some of them are are pretty good. We got some purrs, some songs, some people singing. Um, some people call me their number ones, things like that. Um, I mean, you could put anything. I love clipping my friends saying things. Miss Danny, you're always number one. You're number one in my heart, channel, friendship. What aren't you number one? That's the real question. You sit there, you sit there and think about that. What aren't you number one at? Mm hmm. You, you think about that. You think about that for a moment. And there you go. That, by the way, is Worthless LBC, aka Travis, because I don't like his username. Um, but that is his sound. So these are events, right? Um, these things are pretty fun too. So there's a few things you could do with it. These messages are what pops up the very first time that they speak in my chat. And um, these right here are sound effects. Um, we had to remove some of them, working on putting some of those back in, but uh, we can kind of show you this. So this is Stupid Bullets. Um, not so stupid, but he has bullets. Uh, awesome guy that I know. Be sure to check him out. But whenever he comes in, it says bullets is amazing streamer. You should definitely check him out and his link. And this is the sound that plays. Prison pocket butt sex centers to penis sex. Oh yeah. So I definitely took some pieces and put them together to make this sound for him. But every time he talks for the first time in a stream, every time I restart the bot, um, that is what I hear. They have a counter. Um, we used to have this hair counter every time I touched my hair. Um, they would bring the counter up. Um, I have not turned that back on here recently. Currency. Currency is pretty cool. Um, it's set up to a local currency, but you can um, you can adjust it so people get points. They can you can set up a store thing for it. Um, I mostly do it. Uh, I mostly have it running uh, for the time. Um, so these also list your subscribers. These list all the users that have been in your chat. So, you know, if you, if you're trying to check out, you know, people that have been in the chat recently, so you can make sure you show them some love. Here's a way you can find it. How many times you've raided them or they participated in raids. Um, this is also where you want to go to add your, um, your moderator. So once they speak like my, my buddy Jay wait here. Yeah. He used to be 86. Um, so you look up your moderators right here and you right click, you want to edit. All your moderators under editor have to say true um, in order for them to be able to add. Uh, so obviously if you don't want all your mods being able to add whatever they, whatever kind of commands they want, because moderators definitely can. Um, 
this is where you set it uh, true so that your moderators can uh, create their own, um, create commands and things. Mini games, there's high stool, free for all, boss battle. These are all fun things people like to do. I have them turned off, um, but some people, they like them. You could set up a poll, you could do betting. Um, you could even do giveaway through this bot. I know a lot of people that use this um, for their giveaways. Um, works really well. You could set it up to hook up to your Discord, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, I don't use it for that because I have a bot in my Discord that already does that for me, so I don't want to double up. Notifications. This is a fun thing. So um, when people follow, uh, they host, they sub, all that, it actually puts like a little message in the chat as well. Um, and this is another reason why I like using my own account. This right here is my buddy's emote. And I'm subbed to him, so I can use his emote in my notifications because my bot is set up under my account. So there's another reason why you might want to use it. Quotes is pretty fun. If somebody says something funny, they can add the quotes to your bot and it will mark the day and what game you're playing. So later on when you go through and you do explanation point, quote one, quote two, um, it'll actually pull up random quotes that you've done. Here's extra quotes. I'm not sure why there's extra quotes. Um, maybe there's a max number of quotes you can do here. Maybe not, I'm not sure. Then there's a queue. You can also set up a join queue. So if you're playing things uh, like some battle royales, Fortnite, Apex, Call of Duty, and you get a lot of people asking to play, this is a great way to be able to filter through the queue, get people in, switch people out, make sure you keep people in order. Um, you can even set it up to where VIPs and subs do kind of jump the line a little bit, um, but this is a super useful um, thing to, to do. Scripts. Scripts are a bit more complicated. So in another video, I will um, I will actually go through how to set this up. Um, but there's this cool thing you can do. We'll go back to the console. And working with my shout out command and scripts, you can actually um, you can actually have it pop up on screen. You guys are about to see. So it actually puts their link up there and that's his logo, his name and his link. And I thought that that was really, really cool. And it coincided and works with my shout out command. Um, I am going to do another video where I kind of walk you through how to set it up because there is a little bit to it. Um, and that'll come out at a later date. If you guys have any questions about this bot, if there's anything that I possibly missed, um, please feel free to ask in the comments. I'm more than happy to help you, um, even if we have to get in a Discord call and uh, we can kind of figure things out. Um, it'd be greatly appreciated. Also, if you need any other tech advice and things like that, we have all kinds of stuff for streamers. And if you're not a streamer, you're just a gamer, but you're looking for a community, a place to call home with some other streamers, gamers, whatever it is you're looking for, um, you can definitely find that. Um, in one up we have an amazing community full of great support a lot of great friends we have a lot of fun in there and i hope you guys have a great rest of your day i hope you enjoyed this video and i look forward to seeing you around